Hey guys, what's up? Pixels here, and today I'm just giving you the patch notes for the update that's going to be dropping tomorrow, September 26th, for Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So they did delay these patch notes. We were supposed to get them on Friday, but we just got them today right now. Um, and just going through them is actually a bit more than what we were expecting in uh, from the Muertos Times edition uh, last week. So uh, there's some really cool stuff here, and stuff I'm actually excited for because some there was some really irritating stuff that was going on within the game, and I'm glad that it's getting sorted out. So let's just go through the patch notes real quick. So uh, the first First one, they fixed the hitchhiker trap exploit. Uh, they fixed an exploit where hitchhiker players could use this trap to pass through walls and doors. I didn't actually know that you could do that. Um, I, I did hear something about hitchhiker being able to get into the basement before, you know, you wake up grandpa. Um, so I'm guessing that's what that was kind of referring to. So it's good they're fixing that. And the next one is being uh, fixed is the hitchhiker trap interaction issues. They've resolved an issue where you basically get off a ladder, you know, uh, stepping in a hitchhiker trap. Sometimes you can't get through a crawl space. It would throw you across the map. That, that bug was really annoying. And a lot of hitchhiker people kept putting uh, hitchhiker traps on top of the ladders. And that's how it would bug most of the time. So uh, now that's going to be fixed in the next update. So this is the huge one. This is the one I'm actually really excited for because this has been really irritating. Um, they have fixed Johnny. So people lately, you know, they wanted to call it a Johnny Speed Tech or whatever. It was a fucking exploit, okay? If you combine it with that perk, uh, took it out or something, or took it out, um, basically Johnny could swing for a long time and gain a lot of speed with his swing. So they have fixed that. Uh, so they say Johnny and Sissy both had their lunge that was greater than other family members. Um, we've adjusted this to be more in line with the rest of the family members now. And this should correct the Johnny build we're seeing used in public matches, which is the one I just mentioned there, what people were using. There were so many people using that, and it, it like I said, they kept calling it a tech. Honestly, it was pretty much an exploit of the of the character's mechanics, if I'm being honest. Um, and they have fixed the brightness cheat, uh, fixed an issue that would allow PC users to adjust their in-game brightness outside of accepted levels by editing the game files. I didn't even know that was going on, so uh, that's a nice little change there. They've changed hitchhiker traps at ladder exits. We've adjusted the area at the top of the ladder where the hitchhiker can place a trap now. It still allows for a strategic play, but will give victims an opportunity to counter the trap, which is good as well. Um, so they've changed the fuse box reset. The family can now turn the fuse box off after a victim turns it on. There is a cooldown applied to the switch, similar to generators and car batteries, however. So this isn't really what we were expecting for a fuse box reset. I think a lot of people were expecting, you know, being able to play as the family and then go up and like close the fuse box again so they have to get another unlock tool to open it up to turn it back on. Um, but again, I suppose it's nice that we can now turn it off on the family side. Uh, to kind of counter that. Uh, they've changed the family stun immunity. So family now has a 10 second stun immunity period after an initial stun ends. Uh, there is no stun immunity after a family member is stunned by a victim bursting out of a hiding place. Uh, if you attempt to stun a family member who has immunity, you will not see the prompt for Leland's ability or backstab, which is a pretty huge one. So you can't keep stunning family members over and over again. Uh, if you attempt to stun a family member who has the immunity with a door slam, it will have no effect as well. So there's no more door slamming or infinite door slamming that's been going on in the basements and stuff like that. And close encounters all vary in duration due to the individual family members having different stun recovery times. Therefore, the immunity period is, is different for each one. Um, so that is like Johnny is probably the, the longest one, I think, in the close encounters. Uh, and obviously Cook, I think, was probably the quickest one there. Uh, but again... Um, you know, they're going to be having different stun recovery times now as well, which is fantastic there. Uh, so they've tuned Taekwondo as well. Uh, the perks level have been reduced. So at level one, it's five seconds. Then it goes to six seconds and then eight seconds stun duration there. So that's been nerfed. Um, they've tuned the agitated perk levels as well. So now they only drop to uh, two and a half levels on the family bond reduction there. Um, it was, uh, so at level one, it's 1.5. Then level two, it goes to two levels drop down. And at level three, it's two and a half. So uh, it's definitely not uh, as drastic as what it currently is. And they've tuned the stealth performance in mini games as well. Uh, they've adjusted the amount of noise generated in gathering mini games when at full stealth. Um, so again, that means it's not going to, you know, the, the builds where you have a lot of stealth, you won't be able to spam as frequently as you normally could. So. Um, it's pretty interesting. They haven't looked at any proficiency here yet. Um, I think proficiency could be getting tuned in the future as well. Uh, they've tuned Leland's ability stun duration as well. We've adjusted the stun duration upgrades for Leland's lifesaver ability. 
Um, so I guess we'll see that in the game tomorrow. But these are really, really good patch notes, if I'm being honest. A lot of stuff that's been concerning for the last week or so. Finally getting fixed, especially the hitchhiker traps, the Johnny Lungeon uh, tech, as people want to call it. <laughs> like that's finally getting fixed, which is awesome. Uh, Sissy's Lunge is getting patched a little bit as well. And it's really nice to see that they're looking at the, you know, they're fixing the stun, the stun immunity timers and stuff uh, for family. So you can't have the constant door stuns and all that stuff that's been going on, uh, which has been pretty crazy. So, uh, yeah, you know, with the family stun immunity, that's going to work well to counter in the valve as well. You know, if you get in, if you get stabbed in the back and you're going to be a bit immune to be able to turn the valve off now as well, which is pretty good. So. Uh, people can't just like sit at the valve and just defend it as much as they want. Um, but yeah, I think these are really good patch notes and this will be dropping tomorrow. So I'm excited to check those out with you guys. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the patch notes. I'll leave a pinned comment so you can check them out for yourselves as well. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the patch notes. And uh, be sure to hit that like button. Hit that sub button for more TCM content. And I have been Pixels. You're my awesome viewers. I'll catch you guys in the next one.